Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Brother Jerry for sharing this story with me. As you can see from the title, the brother of Botham Shem John, Brant John, is going to be receiving an Ethical Courage Award for forgiving Amber Geiger during her murder trial sentencing. He's going to be receiving the 2019 award from the Institute for Law Enforcement Administration. So basically, they are rewarding him or giving him this award because they feel that he showed a great deal of ethics. When this is what they are supposed to be showing when they deal with citizens. But they are giving this to him because he says, look, I forgive you for killing my brother. He's going to get that award. And so for us as a people, what that says is if they take the lives of one of our loved ones and we love, forgive, and hug them into oblivion, they will give us an award. And so I wonder how many of our people are going to be lining up to receive these awards. Ooh, Massa, give me one. I want one. Can you give me a pat on the back too? Can you rub my head and give me an award for forgiving you for doing this to my loved one? Now, I know sometimes you all want to hear straightforward talk. You want to hear somebody just um, report the news, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes I got to go a little deeper than that because these are the kinds of stories that really irk me as many of us. I remember... Uh, Shahrazad Ali, she had said many years ago that we have a bunch of happy Negroes who ain't mad at nothing. They ain't mad at nothing. You can't even cause them to be mad at anything as it relates to other people, that is. But uh, for ourselves and amongst each other, oh, every single day you push the wrong button, that's it. But when it comes to our oppressors, no, we just big happy Negroes ain't mad at nothing. We just happy-go-lucky, just want to smile all day at everybody until we see somebody who looks like us. Then we start frowning. Okay, family, listen. Um, I am not surprised at this at all. I've never heard of such an award, but now here we, here we go. He is receiving that award. This sends out a very bad message to our people, our people uh, who desire this type of pat on the head or uh, rub on the head and pat on the back. Uh, will definitely line up for theirs after their tragedy. Now, not all of us feel that way. I'm not saying that all of us are like this, but many of us are. This is why we cannot dr trust. We cannot trust the judgment of other so-called black people. You don't know what bag they're coming out of. Just because someone looks like you does not be b mean, it does not mean that they understand the struggle of our people. Now, regardless to your status in life, whether you're rich, poor, middle class, it doesn't matter. You can still understand the struggle of your people. You don't have to disregard it or dismiss it because you may not be knee deep in it. Some go deeper than others. Some have lifted themselves out of it. I mean, we are in varying degrees of oppression What's amazing is a lot of so-called rich black folk find that out too. They find it out one way or another, sooner or later, they find it out as well that they are not exempt. Look at Bill Cosby and others. Now, maybe he wasn't a good choice because of things that he was involved in. But the point I was trying to make with him is he's one of those with deep pockets. So for those of you who want to say something about me choosing him, spare me all of that. I only chose him because of his deep pockets and the fact that this system that he was able to um, live lavishly on, they turned on him. And I say they turned on him because you have many who have done the same, if not worse, than he has, but they are still walking about free. So even the, the, the ones that are the richest of the rich, they experience the viperous attack, regardless to their status. But it's really sad to me that this young man doesn't see that what he has done 
uh, is just, is not heroic at all. There is nothing noble about this. This basically says that it's okay to continue to do this to our people because all we're going to do is love and forgive. That's all we're going to do is we're going to show you how much love we have for you despite the heinousness of what you've done to me. That's all this does. And it's very sad indeed, very sad indeed, that this is even a conversation today to be had. Very sad indeed. But it is what it is, and this is how our people have rolled for a long time. We have all this love, compassion, and forgiveness for people who can't stand us, but for each other, we're trying to find the next knife to stab each other in the back. Yep, that is exactly how it is and how it has been. But what we've got to do is learn how to navigate even through that. We have to navigate through all of this other stuff, but we also have to learn how to navigate through our own backstabbing people who cannot be trusted. But when it comes to our oppressors, they are just bubbling over with joy and love for the next opportunity to forgive them for the heinousness of the things that they do to us. I think I am done for now. Family, with that, I will say, I know I love you. (laughs) And shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.